In this video, we're going to learn how to find the area of regular polygons. So here we have three regular polygons. We have a pentagon here, a hexagon, and an octagon. So how are we going to find the area of these shapes of a regular polygon? So what we need, we need some information. We need to know the side length. So the side lengths will be all equal, each because that's what regular means. It means that each side of the regular polygon will measure the same. So each of these five sides of the pentagon will measure the same. This hexagon, each of the six sides will be the same, etc. For the octagon, each side will measure the same. So we need something called, we use this measurement, it's called the apothem. And that goes from the center of the polygon straight down 90 degrees to the base, the center of the base. So we go like this, and this is called the apothem. We call it apothem. Let's write that down. So this measurement, measurement here is called the apothem. Same thing here. This measurement here is called the apothem. And so is this. These, each regular polygon will have something called the apothem. Now how can we use that to find the area of the regular polygon. Well, we have to imagine that there are triangles inside each one of these things. So let's pretend that we have a triangle like this here, like that, and like that. There's a triangle there. Now how do we find the area of this triangle? Well, to find the area of that triangle, we use the formula for the area of the triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. So if we know this measurement and we know the, apoth the apothem, which is like the height of the triangle, we can find the area of one of these triangles. But if it's a pentagon, here we have five sides, we have five congruent triangles. There are five of them that are exactly the same. In the hexagon, we have six of them that are exactly the same. So six congruent triangles. In the octagon, we have eight. So we have one triangle here, and the area of this triangle is base times height divided by 2, or the apothem. So base times apothem divided by 2. But since there, it's an octagon, there are 8 of these. So we have to find the area of that one triangle and then multiply by 8 because it's an octagon. So whatever, oct whatever polygon it is, if it's a 10-sided polygon or a 12-sided polygon, it's basically finding the area of the triangle base times height divided by 2 times number of sides. Okay, here are two examples for you to try. So we want to find the area of this pentagon and we want to find the area of this hexagon. They're both regular pentagon and regular hexagon. Let's remember the area of a triangle. So this is the height of the triangle and this is the base of the triangle and the, the area is base times height divided by 2. Base times height divided by 2. So the area of these regular polygons are very similar. You see here base times apothem divided by 2. Now the apothem is just like the height. And then we multiply by how many sides. So if it's a pentagon, we have to multiply by 5. If it's a hexagon, multiply by 6. So basically the area of a regular polygon is just how many triangles are inside that shape. And that's the easiest way to, to think about it. So let's try these two examples. Let's pause the video, try it, and then we'll do it together. Okay, so the first one, we're going to have the area. We're going to write the formula. So the area So area is the base, which is 15 centimeters, times the apothem, which is 12 centimeters, divided by 2. That's the area of one triangle, but there are 5, so we multiply it by 5. So centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared, and that should be our answer in centimeters squared. So when we work it out, we get, let's work it out using our calculator. So we get 15, so 15 times 12 equals, divided by 2 equals, so that's 90 centimeters squared, that's one triangle times 5, 450 centimeters squared. In this next example, 
it's base times appleton divided by two times six because there, it's a hexagon so there are six sides so it's going to be 6.7 times 9.6 or base times appleton divided by two or appleton times base it doesn't matter because it's multiplication so base times height divided by two that's the area of one triangle and then multiply by six because there are six congruent triangles like we saw before so let's calculate that so it's going to be 6.7 centimeters times 9.6 centimeters equals divided by 2. 32.16 centimeters squared. That's for one triangle, but there are six. So multiply that by six, and you get 192.96 centimeters squared. And that's the answer here, 196.196. .196. So 196.96 centimeters squared. So it's basically area of a triangle times number of sides. And just remember the apothem goes from the center of the polygon straight down to the middle, to the middle of, uh, don't, don't be fooled, this is not the apothem. This is the apothem. The apothem goes straight down to the middle. 